Hey folks, Rose here. I thought I would do a follow-up to my geoengineered sky video. February 18th, I took a lot of snapshots of a uh, sky that looked very strange to me. So I went out to College of DuPage, and I am on the uh, one kilometer products visible satellite view, and I've zoomed into Massachusetts. And just looking at this, it's very easy to see the uh, difference in the clouds and why I was getting the interesting photos that I did get today. Um, one of the really interesting features is this line that goes across right here. kind of goes off on its own um, all by itself. There's a, well, one layer of cloud underneath and then there's another layer of cloud up above and they're moving at different speeds. It's also very obvious um, the frequency waves in the clouds. I have this zoomed in. I'm going to unzoom it. And, and then it becomes obvious that all of New England is basically under uh, frequency wave hits to the sky. I'll step here up. You can see quite obviously the frequency waves all, all the way up into Maine. New Hampshire, Vermont, New York State, um, all the way down to Pennsylvania, kind of getting masked, of course. I wanted to point folks to this site, weatherwars.info. This is done by Scott Stevens, and he is a retired meteorologist and has put out a lot of information about chemtrails and the electric sky and explains a lot of what we see in the sky. This particular page shows pictures of what I've captured many times and also goes into technical explanations of how these are being put out there. See, these, these pictures should look familiar to a lot of different people. They're very familiar to me. This one here particularly interested me just because he mentions that at least uh, four to six different frequencies are being applied at one time in this area and I see this too. I see waves coming in one direction and waves in another direction so it kind of validated for me you know what's going on. Um, where he does talk about Iola and Ela in the beginning here there's a reference and a link to an um, article on the uh, IEEE spectrum. IEEE, for those who don't know, is the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, and they have been around a long time. And you can go check out that article, but um, some of what he's put into this blog post is about what was out there on that spectrum IEEE article. So he talks about ionization technology being called either IOLA or by Earthwise or ELAT, by the company ELAT. IOLA and ELAT compete with conventional cloud seeding, which, though it also remains scientifically unproven, is used in more than 24 countries and 10 U.S. states. He goes on to describe a little bit more about what cloud seeding does. Um, there is controversy as to whether this ionization or electrification does any better or not compared to cloud seeding in helping produce precipitation. In theory, it does if you read the technical information. So this is where I learned about IOLA and ELAT. Um, you can Google IOLA and ELAT and find out a little bit more information. It, information is sparse to find. And um, I also am still in process of finding out how this electrification or ionization is being applied. Um, is it local towers that have the ability to apply these frequencies? Is it something from satellites? Is it similar to the HARP technology? That I have not found an answer to and he does not address. So more research to come. Thanks for watching.